Good morning guys. Oops, sorry. As you see, I'm out in the kayak this morning. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning. Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday, I think. Thursday morning. A friend of mine, just for a joke, dared me to jump in the yak, paddle out in the broad water with my favourite rod and my favourite lure, and see if I can get a flathead. And I thought, well, that shouldn't be too hard. My favourite rod and favourite lure, so I've up, up the ante a bit. I told him I've got to get one over 60. Now it's going to be a challenge. So, guys, we've got 7.30 in the morning. I've got a high tide about 10. I'm paddling across the wave break. I've got my old faithful big lure on, silver one, since it's such a sunny day. My favourite rod. And let's see if I can get a flathead over 60. It should be entertaining. Um, first of all, try and catch a flathead, which would be great. And then I've got to get one over 60. I have got another rod here, but that hasn't got any lures or anything on it. That one's got a squid jig on it. Just in case we see a few squid or something up around the shallows, I'll throw a squid jig out and see if we can get a squid for a feed. But the, the, the aim is this morning, a flathead over 60. There's been a few nice fish about, so hopefully it won't be too much of a tall order, but yeah, you never know, Addy. Could get nothing, could get 10 undersize, who knows. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you again when I get across the other side. I'll keep paddling. Oh, here we are, guys. We're on the first little point of this morning. Tide's still fairly low. It's only a small tide today. Um, on a point, a little point I used to fish a long time ago, but it seems very weedy. But I'll just come out over the edge a bit, a little bit deeper water, and we'll give you old faithful a crack. So, old faithful, no lies. Favourite rod. Do the drag up a bit. As I drift around this point and cast, we'll do a bit of twitching with a big lure. And if I see a squid, that's what the other rod's for, so. All right. Let's get into it. 60, eh? A lot easier if I wasn't, you know, doing circles. Very shallow and very weedy. I'll have to move around a bit more. Anyway, trial and yeah, trial and error. I haven't fished here for a little while. We'll keep going. I know I'll hook fish here somewhere. A 60? Oh. Yeah. That might be a tall order. Anyway, guys, we're gonna keep paddling around until I get out of this shallow weed and find something else. Guys, we're about half an hour in, and I just took me first flathead. Actually, I think I jagged it. <laughs> is it a flathead? It is a flathead. I'm in very shallow water. A little bugger come out like a little marlin. He's not 60, but it's a flathead. Oh, we made. All right, poor little bugger. He got hooks everywhere. Oh no, one's in his mouth. He did eat it. The top one's in his mouth. He just got the bottom one caught up in his backside. Oh. Well, that's one down. He wasn't exactly a big one, but there's my friend's challenge done. Catch a flathead. <laughs> The bottom hook was in his jaw, so he just got tangled up in the lure. He did eat it. Um, okay, so that one's done now for the hard bit. One over 60. One over 60. I've got about two hours of high tide, two and a half hours. So, and we're in a nice little shallow bank. I've caught a few 70s and 80s along here before, so. 
Let's hope for the best, eh? Oh, cover up. It's very hot out here. No wind, very hot. I may need about a foot and a half of water. It's very, very shallow. That, that's all good. I'm hoping some big girls are sitting up here in the sun. Great. The one spot I wanted to go, a boat. First boat all I've seen all morning to show up exactly where I want to fish. A little hole. Uh, got to top, stop telling people the spots. <laughs> ah well, that's all right. They're casting plastics. I got something different on. Anyway, guys, I'll keep plodding along. I'll turn the camera on later if we do any good. Ah, bugger guys. Cast over there along the weed bank. I just took a good fish. That was, would have been 60 plus. Buckled the rod, took a bit of line, big massive head shake and then gone. And I thought that was it. A couple of winds, a couple of twitches, next minute, bang, on again. Big head shake, a lot of weight, gone. And that was it. <laughs> Promising sign though, up here in the shallows. I really am on here, you foot of water, it's very, very shallow. And there's a, just a weed bank along there running along, I'm drifting down, casting into it. I haven't paddled over to it, I didn't want to speak any fish. So I'm just drifting down the sand here, casting at the weed bank over there and landing on the edge and working the lure back. And there's one big girl over there. Well, that might have been me 60 plus. Actually, I can guarantee you that was a 60 plus. That was a good fish. Anyway, We'll keep uh, plodding along here and see what happens, eh? Damn. Don't like it when I miss shots. I wasn't really concentrating. Half-hearted sort of thing. Woke me up though. Ready for the next one. <sighs> Bugger. Anyway guys, see how we go later. There you go guys, a couple of casts later I just looked up to another fish. It's no monster, but it's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. I love this big lure in the shallows, it works so well. Oh, hey, that wasn't part of the program. Oh, that definitely not part of the program. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Stop that, little shit. Oops, sorry YouTube. Yeah, just another little one. Oh. I think with troubles, there's always three sets of hooks to get out. One, two. There he goes. I might have found a little bank. That was only two or three casts after I missed that good one. Which is awesome. Guys, I might actually go for another paddle back up and do that again. I know there's one big fish along there. A couple of small fish. And where I'm drifting land along the sand, there's so many lays, like they're only small, like this one. But they're everywhere. Anyway, time to go up and do it again. Oh, bugger! Good fish! What's going on? Good fish. Damn. Ah, uh, sorry guys. Just took the first real fish of the morning. Had a good bump earlier this morning and the fish, that was a good fish. But that one actually grabbed a little pull drag. I was just as I turned the camera on, it let go. Um, that was a really, really, really good fish. The strange thing is, that's not, I've had a couple of half-hearted bumps, and I had one followed up to the kite before, and just here on the surface, come up, rolled on it on the surface. He would have been mid to high 50s, I reckon, and totally missile and straight over the top. 
I am only in a fuck of a snow kid in a foot of water. And that's the second big fish this morning. That was the biggest I'd say by far. That had a lot of weight to it. That was a good fish. Uh, a couple of fifties. I only landed those two small ones. I've had a couple of bumps. One roll on it. That good one, you know, half an hour or 20 minutes ago. And then that one just then. That was a cracker. That actually buckled the rod, took some drag, big head shake. I was like, oh, that's a good fish. As I was turning the camera on, it let go. <sighs> Damn. Gotta to, got to hook one of these big girls. Gotta land one for the camera. They seem to be here, in this little patch. It is very shallow. I've got a couple of guys over here in boats watch me. One guy tried to sneak up in here, but like I said, I'm in a foot of water. Not in with the electrics they get in here. I can get out and I'm just over the ankles. <laughs> it's very, very shallow. This big lure is doing nothing but staring at, digging in, staring at the bottom. Oh, I can't believe that fish. Old faithful silver one's getting a hit, but she's not hooking up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of bait out there too, a lot of mullet and little sh things showering. And underneath me guys, before I was talking about little small lays, now I'm actually starting to see them shoot away. They're only this big, but everywhere. Little missiles are shooting from all different directions. Well I know where there's a big one or a couple of big ones, so I'm just going to keep drifting this area in this shallow water up until high tide. Hopefully I can snag one by then. Oh, I can't believe I missed that last one. I thought I was wrong. Rod was, rod was, go, reel was going. Rod was buckled. Good fish. <sighs> anyway, guys, we'll keep going. Hopefully I don't miss the next one, eh? Oh, oh look at the size of that monster. <laughs> Well, oh, he's a small one. This is what I'm seeing darting off, guys, from around the boat. They're everywhere, these little, these little buggers like this. And I've hooked a couple of good fish. One is, one seems like a really big fish. The other one is good fish. <sighs> Ow. Three sets of troubles is always fun. At least the hooks are still sharp. Oh, been casting now, guys. I've gone back up from the drift. That was the first bump and um, first fish of this cast. And I'm halfway down the drift already, so it seemed to slow down a little bit now. I lost those two good fish. And, hmm, might have to go across the other side and have a look at a little spot I've got over there. Still got another hour and a bit to the high tide. And then I can fish a bit of the high high water running out, might be alright. Slack water's gonna be dead. But while the sun's out, this shiny lure, this silver lure, it's working a treat. I'm still in the same spot, but it's now about one and a half feet, maybe two. It's getting a bit deeper. <laughs> I was hoping some more fish might have move, moved in, but it seems like they moved off to somewhere else. Anyway, keep casting, keep persevering. At least me, there's a little challenge I've done well easily. That's the third fish I've landed. Lost four now. Two good ones. Uh, better catch another one. Make it four all. <laughs> There's a big one sitting around here somewhere. We're gonna keep casting, keep casting, keep casting. Still haven't broke 60 yet. Caught fish. I've definitely lost two 60s. Pluses. 
Anyway, keep persevering and turn you back on later. Look at this, third next cast or second second cast of the stop. Right under the boat, just here. Just here. There's little things that really love this lure. He's a little bit better, but still not gonna ride home about yet. That big one's around is ow, ow, spike, ow. Somewhere. Ow. Spiky little bastards. <sighs> Alright. There's another one. Four. Let's keep going guys. This could be interesting. This could be interesting guys. One just grabbed the lure and comes straight at the boat. <laughs> He's a little bigger but that's interesting. Graham comes straight at me. Damn shit. Ooh. Now he's starting to wake up. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Stop that little fella. I'm just. If I can get me a lure. I think they're getting hungry. Oh. Getting bigger. <laughs> Not in the kayak, please. Out of the kayak. Thank you. Oh. That was a different one. That one comes straight at the boat. Straight at the yak. I thought I had a good one there. Going to come past, see the boat, and take off. But nah. What's that? Number five for the sesh this morning. Not bad in an hour. That light band held up with silly little mistakes like this, twisting around the tip. There we go. Let's get back into it, guys. That's five. I've noticed today working this lure a bit slower. Real short, slow jabs and good pauses has been getting the strikes in this real shallow water. Instead of being real aggressive, just really short. When I look at the lure coming, it's like a little ding ding and then floats and ding ding. Short over the shallow, little short strokes over the shallow water. It seems to be working quite well. Instead of really ripping and going really hard and just winding quick, just do little short ones. It now seems to be five, five different boats around here fishing for flathead. The yaks out fishing on today. Up here in the shallows. <laughs> Alright, still on the hunt for the big one, guys. Oh, this has been a little while, but we finally got another one. Ah, another little baby. It's quite and right down, but we must be near high tide. Oh, well. oh, poor little bugger. Stay. Hey, a little bugger. Hey, watch the sunnies. I don't know if that's number six or seven. Not sure. Anyway, still catching the occasional one. The tide's nearly at high tide, it's on 10 o'clock. We're still slowly drifting to the north. There's no wind. We're nearly on a tide change, so it's probably, hopefully, that's why it slowed down. 
Hopefully this little ledge where I hooked a couple of good ones before will come back on the... will work well as the tide starts running out. I'll give it a little time. And then we might call it quits and go home and say, well, we had a fun session. We've got six or seven small flatheads. Lost a couple of good ones. Lost one really good one. Um, not bad in the yak for a couple of hours, eh? And everything on this big lure. Nothing on plastics. Well, right, guys, we'll just keep perse persevering here for a little while still. A few more casts. And then we'll see what happens, eh? This is not a monster, but it definitely feels a bit better. No, no monster, but it's better. Still not 60. Fifties guys, but not sixty. Still no sixty. Hey, a little bit better. Damn. I think I got another little one on. I have got another little one. Baby again. I think they're getting smaller. Out of the kayak, little fella. Right at the boat again, guys. These little things are following it right up to the boat and hit as I was lifting it up. Here's another one just under the boat. Eh, probably better off using them. Oh, um. Oh, well. Oh, guys, another little one. So many little ones here. Guys, I'm going to say, that's it. I've had enough of casting now. It's, what's the time? It's 11 o'clock. So, been out here for three hours. I'm not sure how many small ones we caught, or I caught. I think it's around a dozen. Yeah, it's 11 or 12, something like that. Um, once again, I only use Old Faithful Rod, I use the Big Lure, nothing else today, as you saw, most of the fish, or all the fish, most of the fish, all the fish were on this lure. We've got slack water now, so it's really quiet, I've had enough, it's quite hot, there's no wind. Um, I'm going to head back in, so not a bad little session, three hours by myself for 12 fish, or 11 or 12 fish. First good one I hooked might have been the 60 I was looking for today, I didn't crack me 60. I've got a couple, might have been low 50s, high 40s, everything was small. All on big lures, but I did hook one. The first fish I hooked would have probably would have been 60, 60 ish. Here's a nice fish, it wasn't a monster, but a nice fish. Then 10 minutes later, I hooked that big girl and I couldn't even get the camera on. Rod buckled, reel went off, a couple of big head shakes. I was waiting for the camera to turn, turn it on and show you guys, and that was it, gone. Anyway, it was nice to see there's big fish here. There's a lot of small fish, a lot of lays around here, a lot of small fish. I might have spooked any big girl that was here. I was hoping there was more, but maybe not. And the old trusty squid, I bought out a different type of squid. I was going to float out a pelly on one of the spikes under a float as we're going across the reed banks. But I never really got a chance to do that. I've been too busy catching little fish and casting. And plus, the water is clean, but I haven't even seen a squid, not one. So on that guys, I say it's been a fun little session. Caught a few fish. Uh, gonna head home now. Get a feed, have a shower, and I don't know. See what happens the rest of this beautiful day. See you next video guys. Bye.